Welcome to Paradwis Diaries, where today we are reflecting on the changing seasons as we move from summer into autumn. In November 2017, we moved to the beautiful Ynys Morn, the island of Anglesey in northwest Wales, to begin the adventure of developing a 12 acre small holding and planting a church all while learning to be parents for the first time. Moving to a tiny rural village called Paradwitz, which is Welsh for paradise, our pioneering journey has seen us venture way out of our comfort zone, trying new things, succeeding at some and facing challenges in others. This is our way to share our journey, encourage you with yours, and of course, share plenty of inspiring scenery and cute shots of animals and our young family. We are the Radbourne family, and this is Paradwis Diaries. So the nights are drawing in, the weather's getting cooler and the coats are coming out, and autumn is well and truly here at Caragdor. So today is a bit of a different feel to Paradwis Diaries, where it's going to be a lot more reflectional on this season change into autumn. You see, working in the environment and being a geographer, I have always noticed the seasons and always been fascinated by being outside in them and noticing those first signs. But since moving here to Caragdor, you just begin to notice all the more the season changes because you're constantly outside looking after the animals and keeping on top of jobs. It's really made me appreciate the beauty that comes at this time of year. I love this time of year. Well, I love all changing seasons as you just begin to see the next signs of the next stage of uh, creation of nature just moving on through its phases. It's kind of a great moment to just pause and reflect on what is going on and how our lives shift through the changing seasons as well. But then autumn with its vivid colours, the pastel tones that start to come in is just so beautiful, isn't it? And with the night drawing in and just that sense of hunkering down ready for winter. And in a place like this in rural Anglesey, um, winter goes on for seemingly a lot longer than it does in a town um, from what we've been used to. And, and there is something as we approach a stage of just getting ready, getting prepared. It's amazing when you read lots of farming books and different small holding books, how they always talk about how actually there is some form of delight in winter, although it is difficult, although it is challenging, there's something about getting through it. And then those first signs of spring being so much more um, exciting and bringing things back to life. So that's what we've got to look forward to. But first, we've got to get ready and see autumn come. So this autumn slowing, the leaves changing colours, dropping and covering the floor. The landscape changes with spaces opening up, so views that have been concealed by vegetation yeah. for the last four or five months are opening up to these vast vistas now. The animals, bugs and bees making their final preparations for winter, with John tending to his bees for one of the final times before he leaves them to settle in until the warmth of spring returns and the activity begins anew. And Gonzo the ram is now up with the ewes to do his four weeks of work a year. His chest is covered in this uh, oily paint that will transfer to the ewes' backs. So we know when he has been, um, let's say, active. Parents, I'll let you explain that one. And there is a final forage of sloes and berries finishing in the hedgerows. It is a remarkably beautiful shift from summer to autumn. So this season is defined by lots of walks, exploring and having fun, kicking leaves. Going around our woodlands at this time of year, it is so, so much fun to be outside, wrapping up warm with your coat and enjoying seeing the seasons change. Hello. 
I really want to encourage you to get out and explore. Notice and reflect on the changing seasons over the next few weeks. Notice the leaves changing colours, the crispness in the air, the time of sundown getting earlier and earlier. So that is all. I hope you have enjoyed this short reflection on the changing seasons. And I will see you next week on Paradis Diaries. Caleb insisting on going through the trees rather than around the path. Some call him an adventurer, some would just say he's stubborn. Take your pick.